Howdy. Hey, hi, it's me, Brady. Welcome. Welcome back to my uh, patio with the nice weather that we are having here. That's less important than uh, what I want to talk about today, which is video editing. Now, video editing isn't something that I necessarily would dream about doing every morning, but it's something that we all have to do. So when it comes to editing, whether it's my YouTube or documentaries or any other projects that I'm working on, it's always just a little bit daunting. But that is starting to change a little bit more over that band, kind of courtesy of Adobe for coming out with this new text-based editing software in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, text-based editing, if you haven't heard about it, it's something that's brand new in within Premiere Pro, and it's great for all levels of video editing, whether you are a brand new beginner or you have been doing this for a very, very long time. So yes, I shot a documentary back in March and now I'm sitting on 25 hours of footage. Yes, it's very intimidating. No, I have no idea where to start. But convenient timing, text-based editing came out in Premiere Pro and it's actually starting to, after playing around with it a little bit and seeing how easy it is to kind of edit like a text document, I'm like, okay, this could actually be a little bit less intimidating to dive into and cut up all of the interviews and all of the talking points. So I've got this file that's up here and it's just a basic kind of multicam sequence. It's very simple to pick up. Honestly, it took me about an hour to figure out. So say going through here, I was talking to Sarah, just asking her some questions, picking her brain, but I didn't want to be in this kind of a typical interviewer interviewee setup. It identifies the speakers here, me being me and say, I don't want that. I'm asking her to talk about moments and stuff like that. I can clip that out delete it, and then it deletes directly in the timeline. So it's very intuitive. It works back and forth with each other. The text document updates the sequence, and it also works the same way in the sequence. Whatever you do in the sequence will affect the text document. So you can already see how it's becoming a very quick and easy tool to just be able to read through a script and be able to cut up your video again like a document. But gets a little bit easier than that. Something that I've found is really cool is say she's talking through and she's got a lot of these pauses here. You've got a pause for 1.8 seconds. You've got a one second pause, 1.4. You can select these little, I think ellipses is what they're called. And it highlights that down there and you can just delete that out and just delete these little micro pauses. So I'm sitting and thinking like, hold on. Uh, bam, you can just take that out and cut it up. Super easy that it identifies that even. This is actually something that I'm genuinely gonna use very, very frequently, especially with this project in particular, a lot of talking points. So moving on a little bit more, last thing I wanna show that I think is great is say for whatever reason, I wanna add this section here. I wanna take that, I actually want it to be before the one above it. So I can just hit Command X like a document, go up, click about right here, Command V, and now it's going to paste that in the document but also in the sequence over as well. So it's, it's cool. I'll be honest, I think it's really cool. I think Premiere killed it with this. I think that this is a huge step into any sort of editing that's got dialogue. So just showing you, I mean, as a, a, so you can see it in motion a little bit more, like I know that I don't want to be in there. So I'm going to cut that out. And it's just easy to be like, like here she's thinking, let's get rid of that. I'm not going to want that. And it's just so easy. You can see it immediately. It's coming over here and making these changes immediately. That's why I want to show this to you guys, because this is definitely a tool that you can use for anything with dialogue, anything with talking, whether it's YouTube, my YouTube or documentaries or narrative, even anything with talking. This is a great resource to have, whether you are just a beginner and this actually is a helpful tool for you to grow off of or you've been doing it and you just need to save time really fast, because I know that this will be a lot more efficient. You don't need to sit back and listen and be like, what did you say? Oh, no, let me play back. What did, what did they say? It's just so easy. So I wanted to keep this short and sweet, just show you guys new text-based editing. If you wanna learn more, I'm gonna put a link down below for you to look into it, but Adobe really did step up their game when it comes to this new text-based editing feature. I'm gonna wrap this up here with you guys. I love you all. I hope you are having a wonderful weather week like I am here and enjoying all of the sun, but that's gonna do it. I will see you next week and uh, well, adios, hasta luego, all of the above, bye-bye.